Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for August 19th, 2020 and it is for the sign of Sagittarius. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels good with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If, however, you would like to have a reading, you're in search of answers, of questions, you're in search of guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. You can also scroll down into the YouTube Dropbox and you will find all the necessary information. You will find the different types of readings that I offer along with the price list and how to proceed to, um, to do a booking for a reading. So that being said, if you do enjoy my channel, please do click the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to the channel and to myself. It's very, very important. Also, um, please stay tuned after this reading. There's going to be a following one that is uh, entitled Cheating and Keeping Secrets. So with no further ado, I have the card of Greenwood for you, which is all about the awakening. This unicorn heralds a reawakening. The spark of joyfulness is about to return to life after a long period of hibernation. This card resonates with the summer solstice. It's a time of positive change and a returning of the light. If life has been cold, dull, and monotonous, Greenwood procre proclaims a fresh new start. Your heart will start to open up after feeling lonely and asleep. And this is a rebirth through delight and pleasure. Meeting new people who bring your life joy is strongly indicated. The energy that surrounds this card is one of an enchanted forest, of woodland mysteries, the legend of the green man and of the fairy folk. Now Greenwood foretells of joyful gatherings under lanterns and fairy lights, garden parties, a frolicking and merriment, the carnival-like atmosphere of um, of the Shakespeare play, a um, how is it called, a Midsummer's Night Dream, is a good comparison for the energy of this card. So that being said, I do hope that you're going to apply this card. I do hope that your the message of the reawakening is going to be brought upon your life today. If you do have any questions, you would like to have a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the following reading and have a great day. Thank you for being there.